Hey guys, welcome to another video for the POCO X3 Pro and today we are talking about the latest update released for this device at least in India and in some regions. We are talking about 12.5.4 and so far the truth behind MIUI updates series has been going really really great and this is the latest update and I'm kind of disappointed with what POCO have done to their device with this particular update. So welcome to yet another episode of Truth Behind MIUI updates on the POCO X3 Pro. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other. So join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to PhoneOps, my name is Kalash, let's get going. Alright, so what do we have here, 12.5.4 Indian version and we are talking about the latest software update, that is MIUI 12.5.4. So if you click on what's new, you will see over here, it says optimization updated Android security patch to August 2021 and we are in October. So it's just like an update, which is a month old. It's not really, really a very, very old update. And come on, this is the latest device and it will keep receiving updates every now and then. But talking about the look and feel, you saw that, right? I mean, this phone has literally had this update for 24 hours and it stuttered there. And that to not Google feed, it stuttered in App Vault. Now, that is what I was talking about when I said that they have, you know, somewhat screwed it up. Sorry for the language, but they have messed it up. So if you see to the left, you now have Google feed, right? Just have a look at this. Let it load. Okay, we'll, we'll give it a fair chance. We'll let it load. Okay, let's actually go to settings over here and let's go to display, right? And you do see this is 120 hertz. I mean, I really don't want to be very, very critical. I really don't want to criticize POCO that much. But I mean, come on, tell me what like this feels like a 30 hertz display with the right software, even 30 hertz would feel smooth. Just see how stuttery it is even after like refreshing the feed. There you go. It's refreshed now. Okay. It's not at all smooth. They can't even optimize something as basic as a Google feed. It's literally stuttering even now, let alone, you know, optimizing gaming and heating and all those advanced things. If you are a company which can't even optimize basic Google feed and Poco, I really am directly talking to you because we have been loyal to you. We have bought a lot of your Poco devices and I appreciate you giving phones to the developers recently to give us more custom ROMs. But remember, not everyone is going to be comfortable unlocking the bootloader and slapping a custom ROM on it. People buy it with their savings. Even though this is a device which is 15 to 18,000 rupees, there are people who buy it for personal use and stuff and if you're going to give so much lag in 2021 I really don't know what to expect apart from this the UI itself is okay it's it's not that stuttery the animations well what animations you asked Poco no animations in the Poco launcher there are zero animations right no app icon animations at all stuttery experience and Trust me, by the end of the video, the things will just get worse. Now, apart from this, if you talk about additional features and stuff, you don't really have any. You just have a security patch that is updated. You don't really have many fixes. Everything is still the same old, same old and yeah, not much that you can say over there. So if you actually go to settings over here, go to about phone, you go to all specs, you will see that it comes with the August security patch and it comes with the same old kernel and stuff like that. Nothing major that has been changed over here. No major new features from MIUI China, nothing else. So, you know, without making this video extremely long and before Xiaomi releases an up another update, let's actually talk about the benchmark numbers. Now, remember this series for the POCO X3 Pro will continue till the time Xiaomi officially or POCO officially stops giving updates. So every time there is an update, there will be a video calling POCO out, which will be truth behind MIUI updates. So first, let's have a look at the CPU throttle test. What is this? A volcano, lava. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks really stupid. Average performance 133. 
963 GIPS and 60% of throttle performance very 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 low very bad this is the lowest that I've seen and uh, if we talk about Antutu over here 570,470 so this at least increased and if we talk about Geekbench over here 785 2630 so across all the updates if we talk about let's see which update is you know something that you should stick to now earlier i did say that you should stick to 12.0.4 or 12.0.5 so in other words 12.5 has been a disaster because see let's talk about the scores of mir 12.0.5 and to score 567 274 single core geekbench 750 multi core 2710 throttling average score 166 and the throttling percentage 82 so this is by far a balanced experience 12.0.5 mi year 12.5 is sort of trash it is ruining your experience on the poco x3 pro if you've already updated and you don't really have an option back up all your data unlock your device install a custom rom if you don't want to do that back up all your data unlock your bootloader and install 12.0.5 or a MIUI based custom ROM trust me it will give you a better performance than what this piece of you know what is giving I really am disappointed with what POCO is doing with their devices over here giving this type of software updates and ruining the experience of a much capable device let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps keep smiling take care goodbye